When you think of Rolls Royce, images of red carpets and silver spoons might dance in your head. But there's a twist to this tale of luxury. Did you know that the same Rolls Royce that symbolizes the pinnacle of automotive luxury was also the backbone of British armored cars in both world wars? Yes, you heard that right. From gracing the driveways of mansions to navigating the front lines of warfare, how did Rolls Royce manage to be both a symbol of peace and a machine of war? Dive into the paradoxical world of Rolls Royce, where luxury meets legacy and elegance meets endurance. Wrap in as we explore how Rolls Royce went from the gold standard of cars to the gun toting guardian of the battlefield. Welcome back to Fortunepedia. Well, today's journey takes us into the heart of the automotive realm, where luxury meets legacy. Fasten your seatbelts as we unravel the fascinating story of Rolls-Royce, a brand synonymous with opulence but birthed from the humblest of beginnings. Beyond the polished veneer of luxury, Rolls-Royce's history is a tapestry woven with intricate threads of innovation and, yes, a touch of controversy. Could it be that the same brand criticized for its opulence has, at its core, a legacy of groundbreaking engineering feats? Let's find out. Chapter 1. A Humble Beginning Henry Royce's journey from a working-class background to becoming an automotive pioneer is a testament to the power of determination. Born in 1863 in Peterborough, England, Royce started working at the tender age of nine, selling newspapers and working as a telegram boy. Unlike Charles Rolls, his future business partner Royce did not enjoy a privileged upbringing. His modest beginnings did not deter him. Instead, they fueled his ambition. At the age of 14, Royce's life took a turn when one of his aunts sponsored his apprenticeship at the Great Northern Railway Works. Under the mentorship of an outstanding engineer, Royce seized every opportunity to educate himself further. Evenings were dedicated to studying algebra, French, and electrical engineering, showcasing Royce's insatiable thirst for knowledge. Chapter 2. A Passion for Engineering Royce's true calling was in engineering. Teaming up with his fellow engineer friend, Ernest Claremont, he embarked on a business venture. Together, they tirelessly worked around the clock, manufacturing electrical components such as doorbells and dynamos. Royce's engineering prowess soon led to patenting improvements to the bayonet light bulb, innovations that endure to this day. The turning point in Royce's life occurred when he acquired a second-hand two-cylinder French Decauville. Identifying construction faults in the vehicle ignited Royce's instinctive desire for perfection. By the end of 1903, he had crafted his first gasoline engine. In April 1904, Royce proudly drove his inaugural creation, the Royce 10 HP motor car, into town. If you're ready to uncover more intriguing stories about the automotive world, hit that like button. But wait, there's more. Stay tuned for our bonus tip on the world's best super luxury car. You wouldn't want to miss this. So hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for a front row seat to the world of automotive excellence. Chapter 3. The Meeting That Changed History while Royce was busy perfecting his creations, another key player entered the scene. Henry Edmonds. A shareholder in Royce's company and a friend of Charles Rolls, Edmonds boasted about his new 10 HP Royce motor car to Rolls. Frustrated with selling foreign imports, Rolls seized the opportunity to meet the man behind this remarkable vehicle. On May 4, 1904 in Manchester, Rolls Royce convened. At the sight of Royce's twin cylinder 10 HP, Rolls instantly recognized its potential. After a test drive, Rolls made a spontaneous decision to sell as many motor cars as Royce could produce under the name Rolls Royce. Chapter 4 The Hyphen in Rolls Royce Creating a brand requires vision, and Claude Johnson, Rolls's partner, played a crucial role in shaping Rolls Royce's reputation. Serving as the managing director, Johnson's genius in publicity earned him the title of the hyphen in Rolls Royce. One of his early advertisements for the 4050 HP motor car introduced the famous phrase, the six cylinder Rolls Royce. Not one of the best, but the best car in the world. 
Did you ever imagine that a five shilling meal at the Swan and Royal would lead to Rolls Royce's revolutionary journey into jet engines? Stay tuned as we unveil the pivotal moments that transformed a chance encounter into a groundbreaking era of propulsion. Chapter 5 Birth of Rolls Royce Limited. Formally established on March 15, 1906, Rolls Royce Limited faced the need for new production premises by 1908. After considering various locations, Derby's offer of affordable electricity became the decisive factor. Henry Royce, largely responsible for designing the new factory, saw production commence in early 1908. The formal opening on July 9th, 1908 marked a new chapter, with Sir John Montague presiding over the event. Rolls-Royce's entry into aero engine manufacturing during World War I with the Eagle model further solidified its engineering prowess. The legacy of the 4050 model extended beyond automobiles, serving as the basis for the first British armored cars in both world wars. Chapter 6 – Expanding Horizons – Springfield Factory and Rolls-Royce 20 In 1921, Rolls-Royce expanded its footprint, opening a factory in Springfield, Massachusetts, USA, to meet the high demand for Springfield ghosts and phantoms. Over 1,700 vehicles were built in Springfield until the factory's closure in 1931. Chapter 7 – Evolution of Rolls-Royce Phantom and Bentley Merger the iconic 4050 HP Phantom replaced the Silver Ghost in 1925, and in 1931, Rolls-Royce acquired Bentley, a move to eliminate a potential rival. The introduction of the Bentley 3.5 liter after World War II showcased Rolls-Royce's ability to innovate and adapt to post-war demands. The Second World War saw Rolls-Royce's contribution to aero engine production, including the Merlin and Griffin engines. The war years also witnessed a shift to pressed steel car production at the crew factory. Chapter 8 – Post-War Diversification and Motor Bodies after the war, Rolls-Royce moved car production to crew, assembling complete vehicles with bodies supplied by the Pressed Steel Company. The acquisition of H.J. Mulliner in 1959 and the emphasis on diesel engines broadened Rolls-Royce's industrial reach. Throughout Rolls-Royce's history, one thing becomes abundantly clear. The brand's legacy is a tapestry woven with threads of ambition, innovation, and a commitment to excellence. From the humble beginnings of a chance encounter to the soaring heights of jet propulsion, Rolls-Royce remains an indomitable force in the automotive universe. If you're relishing this fascinating ride through the Rolls-Royce saga, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with fellow enthusiasts, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel for more captivating journeys into the world of remarkable inventions and legacies. Your support means the world to us. Bonus section, the world's best super luxury car, Rolls-Royce Phantom. Whether you're nestled in the back seats, basking in unparalleled ride comfort, or taking the wheel yourself, the latest Phantom is a rare joy. The ride is an exquisite dance of gentle undulations, a luxurious indulgence that remains whisper quiet and silk smooth, thanks to Rolls-Royce's cutting-edge tire technology. The price of the 2024 Rolls-Royce Phantom is expected to start around $493,000 and go up to $660,000, depending on the trim and options. So, if you relished the Rolls-Royce journey we just embarked on, imagine what awaits you in the realm of millionaire choices. Dive into the universe of 2024's Top 10 Most Expensive Cars, a video that defines not just cars, but a lifestyle. The link is right there. All you have to do is take the wheel and steer into a world where luxury knows no limits.